Let's listen in right now to our affiliate, Houston's KPRC, where we are seeing several of the police chiefs speaking in addition to Mayor Bill White. And it's time for them to be responsible. If they're in a sheltered place, stay there. They need to stay there at least until the next 12 hours, until the end of the storm. Then we'll go about protecting property. The Houston Police Department and the rest of the law enforcement agencies are on the job. They're watching over your stores, your businesses, and your homes. So take shelter and stay there. Then we will t protect your property throughout the rest of the recovery period. I had an opportunity after the earlier press briefing and shortly, I guess about one o'clock, to go out and visit with folks in the community who are preparing for the storm. It was encouraging to see that folks have gotten the message about sheltering in place, having their water, their food, uh, their supplies, uh, being ready for the storm at their homes. I was in Cooney Homes with Congresswoman Lee. Folks were generally upbeat and felt prepared and ready for the storm, and that was a uh, uh, encouraging again to see that, that they have gotten the message and in addition to the evacuations folks are being being uh, seem to be uh, prepared in their homes. Also wanted to tell you a little bit about the Astrodome complex right now uh, since it was such a big issue during Katrina that is the staging area for the recovery effort. We also toured the dome and visited with some of the first responders there everyone from the Coast Guard to fire departments, ambulances, uh, the state forces are coming in, the FEMA folks are represented there, the Reliant Arena that you it's the Reliant hall that you had seen lined with thousands of people in cots or is now lined with hundreds of ambulances, boats, uh, fire trucks, and first responding equipment. Uh, that, that equipment is there. It is ready. It will be projected out into whatever area is needed for recovery, either here or we are thinking now from east towards Beaumont. Uh, as soon as the storm has passed, additional equipment will be brought in. Again, FEMA and our federal partners have done a great job with us. Uh, that equipment will be brought in. Uh, we will have, uh, again, helicopters and other, other assets that uh, could not be kept inside that will be brought onto that pad uh, for the relief effort. I believe, uh, Mayor, we yeah, and, all, do you have anything you want to add before we... No, no, and, and with this, we're going to uh, ask the majority leader and members of Congress uh, to make some statements for us, Mr. Leader. Thank you, Mayor. All the plans have been made. All the plans are in place. Uh, the local, state, and federal government are ready for this storm. Uh, and people should know how it works. Um, our experience with Katrina, uh, people didn't quite understand that after the storm or during the storm, uh, who can you reach out to? The way that response systems are set up is the local governments are, 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 are the first responders. Uh, when they're overwhelmed, they go to the state asking for National Guard and so forth, and when they, the state is overwhelmed, FEMA is ready uh, to, to fill in and provide those resources. Uh, FEMA, as you all know, has prepositioned water, food, uh, all, the, all the supplies that are going to be needed after this storm is over. Uh, the, the military, both National Guard and active military, are ready to respond upon directions from the mayor and, and from a county judge. I just want to say and take this opportunity to, to thank the mayor of Houston, Bill White, for the incredible job he's done and the work that he has done, not only just this few days, but the work that has been done over the last three weeks. Robert Eccles, county judge of Harris County, has been just phenomenal in making things happen and, making, and showing the kind of leadership that we desperately need in this area to make things happen. We shouldn't also forget that there's a lot of other mayors in this region. There are other county judges in this region that are doing their jobs. They don't get the television, but when people are in trouble, call your mayor, call the city government, call your local go county government. Uh, if you live in Sugar Land or if you live in, in Liberty County, call Liberty County. Um, don't call Mayor, uh, mayor White. I, uh, uh, the, the point here is, is if you are in trouble and you need help, Call your local officials and your first responders in your area. We are, we are prepared for this storm. The incredible leadership that, that has been shown in the local level and the state level and the federal government. I've been in contact with the White House, uh, with the Department of Homeland Security, uh, with the, the FEMA operation, with the military, 
uh, we feel very confident that everything is in place ready for this storm. And all I uh, g uh, can offer at this time is thank you to everybody that's been involved, a lot of people in this room, uh, all the volunteers that have been pulled together. We are ready and uh, we're ready for Rita. Uh, and God bless everyone. Our prayers are with you. My name is Gene Green and I represent the east side and north side of the county um, from Baytown all the way back in. And, and we were just I, listening I'm to our affiliate in Houston, KPRC, where we saw weeks. Majority Leader Tom DeLay speak, yeah. uh, Mayor Bill White, also all reassuring everybody that they are ready, it's time to hunker down, stay throughout the storm, in the shelters, do not leave the shelters, and they were just giving an update to all of their local officials. Moving to the east uh, along the Texas coastline now is Beaumont, Texas. And